Tonight on Fables from Beyond, Star Cluster Quarrel, the oligarch battles the Ocelot. Once upon a time, across the stars, in the far reaches of space, the evil Queen Grimalkin spent her days destroying every system she came across. Our assault ships are standing by. Wipe them out, all of them. With a single command, her forces of evil would wipe out anyone who dared to oppose her will. My queen, the ambassador, has transmitted their surrender. Please, my queen, the people of planet Ozempic, surrender. Destroy the planet. I'm out of here. <laughs> She was angry and vile. My queen, we have the resistance troops pinned down. Send in the star fighters. There was nothing that could appease her bloodlust. My queen, the space chicken shack is out of drumsticks. If you made a mistake, you were as good as dead. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. When is she not angry? Silence! Uh, she did. Hey! I'm surrounded by incompetence. She would kill her court advisors. She would kill her bodyguards, her soldiers, her personal chef. She even killed her influencer for a lack of likes. She was just plain evil. Tales of the destruction left in the wake of her attacks reached the many worlds of the galaxy. A Zoom call was held by Plop, the planetary leaders of planets. Plop realized that genocide was the only outcome, for they would all be eliminated. The only option was to evacuate entire planets. And that takes a lot of planning and several Excel presentations. But Lord Whiskers McWhiskerson of the planet Abyssinian told the others that there was one person who could stop the Queen, Devon Rex the Bounty Hunter. Now if you know anything about cats, know that they are the most deadliest hunters in the universe. A poor volunteer was selected. General Altimax travelled to the crime world of Zolmitriptan, a planet whose denizens are a vile and despicable lot. He met with Devon Rex at the tasseled Wobbegong Saloon, where the general offered her a bribe. They ate many treats and got high on catnip. She eventually accepted her mission to stop Queen Grimalkin. Off she went across the stars attacking the Queen's forces, taking out starfighters in epic dogfights filled with amazing maneuvers and effects-filled spectacle. Queen. Destroying ground troops with ease because most couldn't see through their helmets. Ah! Ew, she's popping up a hairball. Somebody kill that damn cat. Run away! Decimating supply bases and listening outposts. I want my mommy. That cat keeps coming back. Hacking into the fleet's communication systems and wreaking chaos. The Queen was outraged. We're doomed! Come on, you fools. This isn't brain science. It's rocket surgery. Devon Rex then sent out a strange and annoying message at like three in the morning. How dare you? And sang the song of her people, with a challenge to come and fight her on the sand planet of Silica Gel, a challenge the Queen accepted. The Queen's mega battle cruiser finally reached the planet. We're in orbit above the home world. Finally, I can rid myself of this vermin. I'm heading down to handle this myself. I'll inform the media. She headed down to the surface of Silica Gel for the confrontation. She stood across from Devon Rex and began monologuing. And when a villain does that, you know that it won't end well. While she ranted and raved, Devon Rex hacked into the battlecruiser's navigation computer and took control of the large vessel and brought the battlecruiser down onto her head. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Uh, my queen? We're currently on our way to you. The moral of the story is no matter how evil you think someone is, cats are more evil. The end.